Station Mike. Department 301 Route 3 is about equal temperature 53, altimeter 3000. ILS approach runway 26 left. Full temperature 25 left. Outbound sliding runways. Runway 26 left. Mm -hmm. I was in civil aviation before that for a short period as an ordinary wireless operator. Okay. So I listened to what was happening, air traffic control and communication with aircraft in India. I used to listen to all that and I learned the trade on my own. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was very interesting because we had to, an aircraft had to have a radio officer. The radio officer has to do all the communication work with the air traffic control, it giving positions and obtaining weather and keep an eye on the emergency radio frequency, send an SOS or a Mayday distress signal. So and the radio officer was absolutely necessary because the pilots have, didn't have time to attend to communications because they were all, all interested only in landing and flying. I take off and play. Yeah. My first trip to Australia, and we got almost lost over coming into uh, Singapore, coming to uh, playing in, in bad weather. And the second one was when we were going taking pilgrims to Mecca. <coughs> We were to fly Karachi, Salala, Aden, but there, Salala Airport was run by the Royal Air Force. So they, they were not informed about our flight. So they had gone for a swim, and when they heard, so we didn't have enough fuel to either to go back or go beyond the, to Aden. So we were thinking of landing on the beach. And then suddenly they, they heard an aircraft flying overhead, so it quickly went and switched off all the communication and navigation equipment and we landed here. Yeah, then I joined the, when the Hasilon wound up or go, went into liquidation, I was fortunate to use my ra radio license, officer's license, and joined shipping. So I had never been on a ship, but I'm <laughs> It was a thrill. I almost I was in tears when I had to work on a ship and I didn't know the, what was happening. Anyway, I learned it from the logbooks and things like that. And, and it was very interesting. We were under British rule. Everything was imported. Even a pencil was imported during that time, you know. Nothing was allowed to be manufactured in Sri Lanka. We called it Ceylon then. All the textbooks, exercise books, everything were all imported with the crown mark on them. So there was nothing happening except the mercantile firms run by British uh, banks and uh, officers. So I thought uh, better to only, only Decent job will be to learn short and typewriting and accountancy yeah. and go into a technical college and started uh, attending classes and got my diploma. And then immediately after that, I applied to uh, Carson and Company because my brother was working there. Yeah. That was the, the biggest British mercantile firm. They, they had rubber, tea, shipping insurance, various other things, so I enjoyed as a stenographer there. The interesting one was, uh, of course, first of all, as I had to do all the typing work. And they, one day they, my boss asked me to come for dictation. For, so I went with my notebook and pencil and date in there. He was looking through the window and muttering something. I didn't know what to was going to say. <laughs> this is, uh, he told me, okay, read back what I said. I 
Build back. I got frightened. I said, what? I didn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> so he, he also laughed and then he started dictating uh, softly and slowly. And after that, I got used to it and it was interesting. Yeah. Life was very interesting, I enjoyed life. Fortunately, I'm in good health all the time and I'm looking out for my health. When I was young, I used to do exercise, do weight lifting, wrestling, wrestling, boxing. I used to do all that at the YMCA with my friends, swimming. And then it, every day I used to, every year, every month, all days I used to look out for my health. I don't do anything or, or, or do anything that will cause any problems. So health-wise, I have been very, very fortunate. I think I had a high degree of resistance for illness. And still I feel the same. My wife, she was a stewardess, I told you, know, one of the first stewardesses. And I liked her. She was very kind to me and she fell in love and got married. We wanted to have children, but it took about 10 years for us to have a little girl. Children's parties, of course, we had it at home or they had to go out and life was very interesting with them. They got married and now they have settled down and we had lots and lots of friends. Still they come, I mean the old servants, still visit us. Everybody likes to chat with her because she's, she's fond of laughter. On my 100th birthday, she woke me at midnight. I was fast as she kissed me and said, wished me for my hundred birthday. I was surprised to see she. And she loved me so much. I yeah. it's just very interesting in eh, her life. We should, do, we should travel a lot all over with their relations in foreign countries and Yazilon gave us free travel. They made the best use of that traveling every year visiting our children in, yes, she died last year, 98. I also miss her very much, but we can't live forever. No? We have to go sometime or other day. Yes, it was, my, my daughter came for my 100th birthday, and she said, Tati, I had a marvelous experience in your life. Why not write it down? So I said, oh, I, I, I can't remember most of the things, but anyway, I'll try. So I just started typing, and then everything came one by one. <laughs> I started writing. So everybody thinks that I had a wonderful memory. Still, I can remember more about my childhood than what I did, than now what happened in life. yesterday. <laughs> Be a good person, I think that's the one thing to do. <laughs> do everything in moderation and at the same time think of doing something for humanity. To, to be a good man, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you everybody, to attain 100 was an achievement, I said. After that, it's useless. I said, eh, it, can, it can go on, it's left to God to <laughs> give me enough strength and help to continue. I said, uh, I won't do it. I don't, don't think of having birthday parties. <laughs> I'm living for my children. Now, my daughter says, I'll come for your birthday. I said, no, no, no need of coming. I'll just call me. As long as I'm fit, it's okay, I can continue. I, I don't mind. 